Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to see another place where the injection context will work. So that is nothing but the can activate, can deactivate, these type of uh, routing guards will be there, right? So in that one also, the injection context will work. I will try to show you a simple example so that you can able to understand it. So when we try to learn about the routing concept and all those things, we can learn about this injection, uh, further more depth about this uh, routing guards and all those things. Just I will try to show you a simple example in this video. Let's observe that video so that you can able to understand it. So, yeah. so normally what I am trying to do it is, so now I will design a simple route, app.routes.es and here I will be designing a simple route. There is nothing but path. So anybody who tries to log in with the team with an ID and here I will be having a component. We will try to create a component. By the time I will create a component here. So here I am creating a component, team component. Let it create. And here I will be using the component. Okay. So here I will be using the team component. That's it. So this is our team thing. Let it create. And by the time what I will try to do it is I will create a new service that is nothing but a permission service. So I will be having a new service that is nothing but permission dot service dot ts file. So here this one will be an export class permission service so this is our simple service and this should be and here i will be having an let's say that can activate so don't think that this is a can activate just it's a uh, can activate can activate means so is team present something like this okay and here this will take an user token so what i would make with the token and of it type of any and here i will try to send a team id team id of type string and this returns an observable. So this returns an observable of boolean. Boolean, that's it. So here this observable it should be imported. That's it. So now in order to return this one, so what I will try to do here, we should we can have a token. So let's say that user token export constant user user token is equal to so this is our user token okay so which i can use it there so the user token so what is that user token it will have something like so you can have another service also this one permissions okay permissions and let's say that i will be having a team one and team two let's say that these are the permissions which i will be having team two so these are the teams we are having and this token we are having it and let's try to uh, check that so here so constant has permission i will take one variable has permission and here i will try to take user token is there and also ampersand ampersand user token dot permission permission permissions okay permissions dot includes sorry includes i can check something like um, team colon and here i can take a team id now i need to return the observable for this one return of so which is an rxjs and here i will try to check the i will send the has permission that's it so now finish so this is our class permission service now what i want to do i want to use this permission service in an can activate function so here for this one what i will do it is i will create a new function that is nothing but can activate team so here in the service itself i will use new one that is nothing but can activate team.ts file okay and here in our app root.ts file so here i will be using can activate function and here i can use uh, same like this only right so in the routes we can use it can activate and here we I can use a can activate team. So we don't have this one. So let's try to create it. Export constant can activate team and which is after can activate function. So don't uh, don't bother about this one. So I will try to explain you these all the things in our upcoming video. And in routing when we are trying to learn, I will try to explain it. So this is our uh, activate thing. And here this is a function. Okay. Previously in Angular, we can also mention it using the class also. So implements this can activate something like that. So here 
what it will read is first it will try to take a route okay route uh, i will be having route state snapshot something like this okay so not router state snap, snapshot uh, activated route snap route means activated 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 route snap. and the last one you will be having is the state okay the state and here uh, router state snapshot you will be having router state snapshot that's it you can also have a router also not a problem and here first what i will try to do is i will inject the service so constant permission service is equal to so here i can use the inject thing so in our activate function also we can use the inject permission service that's it so i have injected this one and i can return permission service dot is team present and here we can pass the user token which we have seen it and here i need to pass the team id team id is nothing but the route id so here i can check route dot params not params params of id i can use params dot of id that's it so this params dot id is nothing but in the app dot root which we have used it colon id the same thing we are using and here i can use can activate team that's it so this team component also i can inject it so team component so that's it now we are activating this one so now here when i am trying to use so here if i try to use it like this it will work and let's go to the router outlet sorry app.component.html in order to make it work what we need to use so here we need to use the router outlet that's it so now if i write in such a way that can see this one yeah here slash team slash 34 if i try to use it 34 so it will go back to the so permission service so it is telling uh, some error so let's write it no provider for the permission service so let's try to go to permission service okay fine so here we need to mention this one as injectable why because so this is a service right and we need to provide it in the root okay then only we can able to inject the service that's it now if i try to mention slash team slash 34 something like this then you will be able to get to the home page but when i try to use slash team slash one then you will be in the team component see the team works you will be able to see it why it is happening so the can activate is able to work why because this can activate team so why i am trying right here it is able to inject the permission service and even whenever i am trying to inject the permission service and in this permission service i am executing a method that is nothing but is team present and this one has to return an observable so that one that is also uh, observable of boolean and here is team present is there then it will take the user token or route dot params and i am sending the params of id whatever the param id we are having i am trying to send it and the user token is nothing but whatever the people it is present so now here if i am trying to check that if the two team slash one means team colon one is present or not i am trying to check it then i am writing true if it returns true means then you can able to enter into this particular url if it is not true means then you cannot able to enter into the particular url so this is what I want to explain you that we can also use it in a stack frame something like can activate these all route guards also you can able to have the runtime context that is nothing but the injection context so that you can use the dependency injection whatever the injection services whatever the services you want to inject in this one you can able to inject it in this angular. So this is all about this about this can activate thing how we can inject the services this is the place where we can use uh, the dependency injection so in the injection context will work in order to inject the services. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.